In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a separate WordPress installation on the same domain using SiteGround's site tools. So when you log into your SiteGround account, you just find the website that you want to, or the domain that you want to create a new installation of WordPress on, and then just click on site tools. And so when you've clicked on site tools, you're going to come to the dashboard here. And what you can do is just click on app manager if you want to, and this is going to let you select WordPress and you can sort of go through from there. Or if you've already installed WordPress, often WordPress will appear in the, um, in the sidebar here, and then you can just click on install and manage. Um, it takes you essentially to the same place. Um, and so you'll see here that previous, so when I set up this account and you'll see this domain looks a bit ugly. I'm using a temporary domain that can come free with SiteGround uh, rather than having to register in a domain and pay for another domain for this staging site. I have just used the, the temp domain, uh, which essentially just takes your name uh, and puts it before uh, sghost.com. Um, so this is what I set up using just SiteGround's WordPress installation wizard thing when you first buy a SiteGround account. Um, and this is a subdirectory that I've created previously using this process that I'm about to show you now. Um, so all you need to do is just select either of these. Usually you would just select WordPress um, and then you've got the domain here. There's only one to choose from. Um, and then you choose your installation path, which you don't have to create previously. It's going to create this for you. So you just type in whatever you want. So usually this would be, um, you know, whatever the client's name is, you know, and you can, you can pop that there. Um, you can select the language, but this will get over, um, overwritten when you clone your starter site over this, uh, WordPress installation. So if you are creating this WordPress installation um, for a client and you're going to use a sta starter site on top of that, um, oh, I've just got some pop-ups coming, sorry, um, then you're probably going to, yeah, just create, clone your starter site over that, in which case this is going to get overwritten. All this does, this installation process, is create a fresh installation of WordPress that's going to be just the generic WordPress. It's going to just have the, the free 2020 WordPress theme or whatever. Um, it's going to have all those sort of standard plugins and things like that that come with WordPress. It's not going to have any of your customizations. Um, so typically you're probably going to want to clone your starter site over the top of this. It's going to have your Divi theme or Elementor or whatever you use and all your favorite plugins. And when you do that, it's going to replace all this stuff anyway. So it's not a big deal what you set this to. So you can just leave this language as is. I like to untick this install WordPress starter. That's just a site ground thing that installs a bunch of, um, you know, plugins that help with your WordPress installation, but you're going to do that anyway yourself manually probably. So you probably don't need this. Um, enter in username, password, uh, and email. Make sure you remember this. It will get overwritten later if you do clone your starter site over the top of this. However, you will need this just temporarily. So make sure you remember what these details are. And often you wouldn't want to install a WordPress multi-site. So um, don't have that ticked and then just click install. And when you do that, then uh, it's going to create this new subdirectory, um, install WordPress there, and then it's going to appear in this list down here. So then you'll have another one appear that'll be um, the domain forward slash client name, because that's what I've set it to. Um, so that's how you create a fresh new install of WordPress using SiteGround site tools.